Hello YouTube, this is the 8th video in our JavaScript Basics tutorial series. In this video I'll be talking about events. Events are a way of capturing events that the user takes part in. So anything from mouse click to a keyword press um, to a mouse move, JavaScript can detect. Um, and it has three ways of detecting that, uh, which I'll be going over all of them. Basically, we're going to create a button here. And we'll give it an ID. And we will give it a an attribute called on click. Um on click events are triggered when the mouse button is clicked down and then released. So it waits until the mouse button is released, basically. So when the mouse button is released, it will execute, execute JavaScript code inside these parentheses, or sorry, quotes. I do that a lot, don't I? Um, so inside here, we can call a function or we can console log. You can only use single quotes instead of double quotes here. And if we run that, we have a button here. When I click on it, down here, it will log out. Test. There you go. And that's one way of doing it. I can also, here, I'll make a function so that I don't have to keep writing this. Um. And I'll give it a value. Okay, I can call that function when it's clicked. So when I click it, it's going to call that function and echo out the code inside that function, or log out the code. Sorry. Um, now there's there are two other ways of doing this. We can save our button object to a variable. So we'll save our button is equal to document dot get element by ID a button. Now a button object has all of the methods that a an H, a DOM object would have. So one of those methods is add event listener. This is a function with two parameters. It adds, it basically listens for an event, and then once that event is heard, it executes a block of code. So um, the first parameter is the type of event, so it's going to be click. And the second one is the function that we want to call. And we can make our own function here. Which, in which I can do whatever I want. Oh, one problem is I didn't wait for the document to load. So now when I click on it, it says test. If I want to call my click function, I can write click here without any quotation or any parentheses. I went and did it again. And it will call that function rather than writing my own function right there. Um, the third type, the third way of handling an event is by using this. Uh, method. Uh, load is an event, so I can use load here. And when the button loads, I guess 
but a button doesn't have a load met or load event, but images have a load event and the document does. So when the doc when the window loads, um, we want to call a function which we'll call click. I guess it, this is happening when the window loads. Um, we can also do on click here. And when you click on the window, it executes that code. It's happening every time I click. Um, so those are the three ways of doing it. There are a lot of different types of events like on key press and on key down, on mouse over, on mouse out, um, and more. I'll, I'll link to a list of all the JavaScript events in the descriptions most likely and you can check those out. But before I finish this tutorial up, let me give you an example. Um, we're going to use our var variable again, and this function is going to add 2 to n, and then it's going to log out n. So we'll say n variable n now has a value of, and if you notice I added that extra space, that makes sure that there's a space in between this number and this string. We'll call it clicked here. So when I click, it tells me what the value of n is now, after it increments it by 2. So we can, we can experiment with that. Um, that's about it for this tutorial. In the next one, we'll be talking about uh, loops. And I think that'll be the last tutorial in the basics series, but maybe not. We'll see. Um, thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.